fast yeah. count. I thought it was at least a three and a half. I, I couldn't quite get the leg up, but uh, you know, it was a sick headlock takeover, I thought. I think we could use an instant replay. Uh... You know, I've actually used it in some replay in a professional wrestling angle. Yeah. Had the ref go and check in and everything. It's fun, man. <laughs> what 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 is current is is real, you know. Dusty finish. <laughs> Come run into this, please. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Jack, obviously it was last year we were getting introduced to you and talked to you the first time. Now you're about to make a debut. What has the last year been like in terms of training? Man, it's been a, a very special journey for me. Uh, I already feel like I won because of this journey that I've been on. I've been able to better myself in so many ways, mentally and physically. Uh, I think Saturday is just going to be the icing on the cake. It's going to be one of those things that I always remember in my life. And... Uh, you know, a lot of people aren't going to like me being on this card or what I get paid for this, but that's not my problem. So obviously you just alluded to the fact that pro wrestlers don't often get the best yeah, yeah. reception from MMA fans. What's it been like so far for you? And then I wanted to know, have any pro wrestlers reached out to you be like, yeah, to give you support? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, a lot of pro wrestlers don't get the best receptions. Uh, I feel like everybody loves me. What's not to love? Uh, it's, it's been a very positive reception. Uh, I feel like I feel like my background definitely has a has the help in that. And um, as far as pro wrestlers, everybody from Vince McMahon to Rey Mysterio, uh, Roman Reigns, like oh, name dropping here, no big deal. Uh, but it, it's cool because, like, I feel like I am a pro wrestler. I also feel like I'm a pro fighter. So to have that family from the pro wrestling community. Uh, stand by me and support me through this has been really, really special. What did, uh, what did Vince say to you? <laughs> he said, don't lose. <laughs> <laughs> Good advice. Yeah. Are they coming out? What? Are they coming out? They got, a, they got some small show on Sunday in Arizona, so I don't think they're going to make it. But uh, next fight, next fight. We'll get them, we'll get them cage side. <laughs> What's been the biggest difference for you as a professional wrestler now branching over to MMA? As far as training goes, what's been the biggest difference for you? Uh, getting punched in the face is a big difference. <laughs> Got to learn how to catch them without your teeth. Uh, honestly, I I have relied a lot on my pro wrestling background, a lot on my amateur wrestling background to get me here. I don't have an amateur uh, fight. Honestly, I don't feel like I need it. I have thousands of amateur wrestling matches that I'm going to rely on to give me that experience and then as far as pro wrestling I absolutely 100% makes think it makes me a better pro fighter because I'm used to the bright lights I'm used to you tell me when and where and I'm going to be there performing at a high level every time and, and how do you look forward to bringing your charisma and personality into the sport as well too I you know I don't think I could just step right in and say I'm the greatest of all time um, but that's what I'm going after and that's what I intend to prove. Um, it'll be uh, small increments, right time, right place. Uh, you know, as, as long as people keep throwing uh, hate at me and Bellator keeps throwing money at me, it's, it's going to come out. And we, and we had another athlete last week, Greg Hardy, who had his MMA debut too. Not didn't go so well. Uh, are you going to be comfortable in the cage uh, being out of your element a little bit? Uh, I don't think it's out of my element. I think that's right where I belong. Um, just because I haven't professionally fought in that cage doesn't mean that's not my home. I, I live there. I breathe there. I think I'm going to be very comfortable. And uh, I intend to show that. When was your last uh, wrestling match? Pro wrestling match? Yeah. Um, contractually, I had to stop uh, in November. So yeah. I wrestled for the NWA World's title. Yeah. At WrestleCade, and I think it was like November 24th or something like that. I think it's all this. Yeah. Yes. Um, so contractually for Bellator, you have to stop at a certain point before your, your fight. Is that right? Right. I mean, yeah. Hurt, right? Yeah, hurt, but also, you know, I need to be in camp. Right. You know, and so 2018 was a great year. I definitely saw a lot of publicity because I am signed with Bellator. I won uh, four or five World Heavyweight Championships with different promotions. 
Uh, I'm the current Lucha Underground Heavyweight Champion, which films here in Los Angeles. Uh, 2019 is going to have more of a focus on MMA, and I think it's uh, the most exciting part for me is like where I'm going to be in six months, where am I going to be a year, because I'm not going to be working on the weekends as much. I'm going to be at home training and really focused on this. That's what I wanted to ask you, is, is, is MMA now the, the focus? Do you consider yourself more now as a, as a fighter than a, than a pro wrestler? Yep, but it's still, you know, I started doing this because I knew uh, becoming a pro MMA fighter would help me be a better pro wrestler and a pro wrestler make me a better fighter. So they go hand in hand and I intend to keep doing it the same way, keep making money. Uh, I got two kids in private school. I'm not fighting to be to drive a Bentley or have that big house. I want to put them through private school and, uh, you know, focus on that. A lot of people know that pro wrestling is a very hard sport for the athletes involved. A lot of injuries, um, total the body goes through a lot. MMA is a very vigorous sport as well in, in terms of injuries. You, you know, having uh, your past with pro wrestling, how's the recovery been your, uh, on your body transitioning from that into this? Yeah, there's there's definitely levels to uh, to the sport. Um, you definitely have to get in a certain shape to progress your technique and your skill and and your uh, uh, everything that goes along with it. So, there, you know, stages of that have been, like, very tedious and, you know, very painful on my body. Uh, but after 12 years of cramming into airplanes and cramming into cars and traveling the world pro wrestling, my body was pretty beat up. And this, this hard training, this intense uh, physical competition has uh, really made my body respond. And I'm, uh, I feel like I'm still growing. I'm a, I was a late bloomer as a kid, so I feel like my body is still... Uh, you know, maturing in, to what it can be. And I, I think this training over this last year and a half has proved that, which is very scary for the rest of the heavyweights of, you know, where I'm actually going to be at. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Have you felt you've given your body enough time to recover from all that in the past? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're, very, we're very serious about our recovery. Um, and I think now in 2019, uh, the sports science, uh, nutrition, uh, technology is out there. You just have to be willing to do the research and know what you need to do uh, to focus on it. And if you're not focused on recovery, you're not serious. So I think that's just as big of a game, part of the game, as it is with the rest of the stuff. Especially me here, I'm late to the game, I'm late to the party, but I am the party. So. At 36, I'm very serious about my recovery and making sure that I can still continue to make lots of money down the road. Is that, is that a wrestling grind almost harder on the body than an MMA training camp in, in different ways? I always said that I would do the pro wrestling for free. You just have to pay me for the travel. Like the, the travel is, is, it's insane. Like, you know, three shows a weekend, traveling after everyone. Uh, it's, it's a different lifestyle. So definitely got to adjust to it and then when I would come home on Monday I'm, I'm going right back into the gym and doing two days Monday through Thursday because that's the only time I could get it in. Sure. You, you're very upfront by being you're a prize fighter now you're doing this for the money which is which is fine but how how much are you willing to take that the promotion of it like you're gonna like we say we are you gonna say ridiculous stuff just to get more views? I think if anyone knows me uh they know that I'm sincere and that I'm, I'm just being myself and I'm being honest. Like, yes, I'm doing this because I want to be the best. I don't think anybody gets into MMA or puts their body through this unless they want to be the best. But l let's be honest here. We're all here for money. How have you set up your training camp outside of wrestling? How have I set up my training camp? Uh, you know, this, this first camp, uh, we've been uh, mainly underground. Uh, well, I've had my coaches, Josh Rafferty, Rob Rafford, bring in their guys to uh, uh, train with me. Uh, we didn't have to go to a big gym or anything like that because I got two of the best coaches in the world. Um, it, it, it's definitely a work in progress. As we go further, you know, we'll, we'll perfect it and fine tune it. But I think we, uh, uh, we did very well. This fight's a little bit different than most fights because I didn't have to wait around and like wonder when like, it was going to happen or like stay ready type deal. Like I knew it was going to happen. So since September, uh, we've been doing two days. We've been in camp pretty much since September, and I'm in the best shape of my life. Whether it was in high school or when I was an All American at Oklahoma, I'm in the best shape of my life right now. Why don't you imagine that your camp is, is built uh, around your wrestling base, right? 
Yeah, yeah, it is. A lot of it's based around that, but uh, if you look at other pro wrestlers coming into this, they were almost scared to get hit in the face during camp, and we made it a point for me to get touched, to get punched in the face, and to me be able to learn the instincts and to react accordingly. Um, and at first it sucked, but, you know, that's what, that's what we're here for. We're here to learn, and we're here to progress that. Why do you think you'll have more success to say like CM Punk and what have you learned from that situation so coming into this? Ah, I mean, it's, it's all, I'm going to be successful because I got the best coaches around me and because I have my heart 100% in this. Uh, this is, this is serious. We're not playing games. Uh, a lot of people look at me and like, hey, this is a money grab or whatever. No, I'm not playing any games. And I know that I had the confidence in my conditioning and my shape to go out there and prove that. Thanks, guys. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I don't really know those guys that well. Um, so. All right. Thanks, Jake. Thank you.